We're now going to look in more detail at the peroneus muscles. And these are a group of muscles that are situated on the outside of your lower leg. There are three muscles in most people, and then occasionally there's even a fourth muscle. And they're all connected together in a single sausage skin, and they make up what's called a compartment. The three muscles are the longus, which is the long one, the brevis, which is the short one, and the tertius, which is the third one. And the tertius is pretty similar to the brevis, but it is, occurs more around the front of the lower leg. What we'll do is look firstly at the longus. It attaches to right at the top of the, there's, there are two bones in, in the lower leg. There's a big bone, which is called your tibia, which carries most of the weight. And there's a tiny little bone called your fibula, which kind of, um, it just runs down and it forms the outer border of the ankle joint. It's just almost a stick on. It's not really a structural bone. All these, the perineus actually means stick, which is to describe the fact that they all go on to this tiny little bone. So the perineus longus attaches up at the top, it runs down the outside of the leg, it slips behind the bump on the ankle bone, which is called the malleolus, and this is when it gets interesting, it actually curves under your foot, under the arch of your foot, goes right round and wraps around the first metatarsal, which is a long bone on the inside of your foot. So what it does is it creates this incredibly long lever. The brevis and the tertius start about halfway up the fibula. They run down and they attach to the outside of the foot. They attach to the fifth metatarsal, which is the outside long bone of your foot. In fact, if you feel your foot, there's often a bump on the outside. That's where those two tendons attach. So these muscles all act together and what they do is they will pull the foot and twist it this way. I'll show this in more detail right now. So the movement is that if you contract your perineus muscles, they will move the foot outwards and in fact slightly upwards. So that's a rotation movement and this movement is called eversion. If you stand on your foot and you pull the outside of your foot up and out. That's the movement. Now they're actually really important because what the perineus muscles do is that they allow you to walk on uneven ground. As you step, if this part of the ground is lower, then your perineus muscles will actually contract slightly and pull the foot over so that you can walk and adapt to uneven ground very important function. When the, the time that they are damaged or when they get trigger points in them is two occasions. The first is if you actually sprain your ankle. Now the normal sprain on your ankle is that you go over on your ankle so your ankle actually goes in the opposite direction and you can imagine as you know the this side comes up swollen and sore and as you go over on your ankle in the opposite way these muscles have to work really hard and often become strained or sprained. That can set up trigger points in the perineus muscles themselves. Often this sprain will settle and you may still have ongoing pain and then you need to look for triggers in the perineus muscles. So it's a very common cause of ongoing pain when your ankle sprain should have got better. The second time that the perineus muscles actually get trigger points in there is if you have a very mobile foot and it does what's called pronation. So the foot wobbles backwards and forwards as you walk and the perineus muscle then has to work really hard because of the sloppy foot and ankle. And again, will become overworked, trigger points will be set up. So we're going to look a little bit now at the trigger points themselves and then we'll look at the pain patterns. So the first trigger point is in the perineus longus. It's the commonest and it occurs up here. If you feel your knee, you'll feel just below your knee there's a bump, a bony bump, and that's the top of the fibula. And then you'll feel 
in the muscle belly itself, right near the top, you'll feel tender areas. And this, so you feel tenderness, you feel may feel a little knot, and a little bit of swelling in the area. And that's the perineus longus trigger. The perineus brevis is about halfway down your leg. And the tertius is very similar, but it goes around the front of the leg a little bit more. It's often quite a big muscle and can be missed. Now the pain pattern occurs here. So you feel your pain over the bottom half of the foot, over the ankle itself, and it runs a little bit into the side of the foot. And you can see that's just where you get pain from your ankle sprain. So therefore if you have pain on the outside of the ankle running into the foot and it occurs especially with a mobile foot look for perineus triggers is one more interesting factor remember i said at the beginning that the muscles themselves are in a sausage skin or in a compartment and the outer layer is called the fascia so you remember myofascial so this is a facial sheath, like a sausage skin, which runs around the muscles themselves. The sheath itself is not distensible, so it can't stretch. If you get swelling, and say you get a number of trigger points within the muscle, or the muscle becomes damaged, then the pressure may go up inside the sheath, and there is a nerve, which is called the perineal nerve, which runs along in the sheath, and the nerve itself may become compressed so that you may get tingling and numbness in um, this area which is where the nerve supplies and you may have weakness in the movement that the perineal muscles do which is this eversion movement this can be confused with sciatica which can also give you tingling numbness and uh, weakness in this area so it's just something just to think about